Have you heard about this crazy man that lives underground? Okay. Yeah, they say there's a crazy man. He lives underground and he can drive you crazy. No, mommy. Yeah, they say he's always right behind you and you can't let your guard down even for a minute or he'll make you go crazy. He's always right behind you, they say. No, mommy! What's going on, everybody? It's uh, St. Riot and I hope you're, everybody's doing good. Um, we got some clips here uh, using my new madness build. I went for like a king in yellow type of thing. Uh, we're using the the mask of briars which is a bit of a callback to the uh, thorn armor uh, that i had on my chaos servant back in the dark souls days um now we're a chaos servant we've got the the weird king in yellow briar mask it's perfect it worked out great for this we're using the golden order great sword which has established order as its uh, uh weapon skill which has a, a ton of hyper armor it's really good um, and in our wondrous physic, we've got uh, the poised here, so that we can, uh, you know, make some some trades with Howl of Shabriri as well as Inescapable Frenzy. That's the build. Um, but while you watch these clips, um, you watch this video as you en as you enjoy it. Uh, also, I guess I should mention the soundtrack. We're using uh, the Bloodborne soundtrack, uh, Mikolash. A brightest, and then from the Demon Soul soundtrack, uh, the Adjudicator. So, here's the soundtrack for you. Um, in order, by the way, I put them in order for you. I said them, the, their names, in in the order in which they will appear. But enough of that. Now it's time to talk. Now it's time to have and say words. Um, it's time to really uh, open up our mouths and make clicking sounds with our tongue. Uh, to communicate ideas and that's what I'm wanting to do today and today's topic the topic of today's video is um, invaders uh, ruining people's day ruining people's playthroughs uh, etc this is something that's been coming up um, people have been talking about it uh, Scott made a video about it Oro was talking about it on Twitter and Peeve and etc etc and, um, you know, uh, if you hop on Reddit, apparently it is, you know, full of people who, uh, you know, hate invaders, YouTube comments, obviously full of people who, who dislike, uh, invaders, they don't like, uh, them showing up, and, um, you know, I think a lot of this conversation spawned from that co-op mod, uh, that was, that was released recently, but, um, yeah, people are saying, you know, uh, it's messed up that people invade um, and try and ruin other people's days. And then some people say, well, nobody's trying to ruin your day. No one's trying to ruin your playthrough. Don't be, don't be foolish. Uh, it's just people using uh, a mechanic in the game and a mechanic that doesn't appear in any other game like this. Uh, you know, this is the only game that has it um, you know something to consider uh, and but the people who feel this way who feel like invaders are just there to ruin their their experience to ruin their day um, to those people I say it's real it's me <laughs> you absolute fools you dumbass idiots I hate you. I hate that I've never touched a warm and no warm and ever won't let me touch. And I don't ever know what the feel of a kiss. And I take it out on you. Yeah. Here I'm a coming just to kill and make your day bad. I hope you I hope when I beat you in an Ellen Ring, I hope you never play again. I hope the trauma breaks your brain and then you can never play the game no more and you and your friend you just lock yourselves in your room and you're crying and you're saying to yourselves we can't go back he might be there I'm still there I'm just waiting I do this because of you uh, I'm evil and bad uh, I would break into your homes and do real violence on you. You know, 
If only I could. If only I had the capability of doing it. But I, I don't. So I have to express myself in a video game. The only way I know how. Ruining your whole life. As, as best I can in a video game. Oh wow, can you believe that? Can you believe that, that, that he would say that? What, what did he mean by this? This is, I guess it's true. I guess it's all true. It sounded like, you know, um, what you said was real. And that he was just trying to ruin your day. He was trying to ruin the game for you. Um, you, in particular. That's, that, that's how important you are to him. That's crazy. That It's crazy that he cares that much about especially you having a bad day. Really weird. Really strange stuff. I guess he, you know, he probably needs to see a, a, a doctor, a psychiatrist. Um, we need to get the government involved, is what I'm thinking. Um, maybe some sort of state-mandated death squad uh, for the people who, who play the video game in this particular way uh, that, are, that are just trying to, um, you know, make you have a bad time. Uh, that's that's the answer I'm coming up with. So um, be on the lookout for that. We're gonna try and get those, uh, you know, state mandated death squads out there in, into the homes of uh, the people who play the video game the way you don't like the the ones that are playing the game so that you specifically have a bad time so that you have a bad day. Uh, that's that's gonna happen. It's um. It's, it's, it's coming down the pipe, as they say. It's coming down the pipe. And also, I'm not... I'm not done. Oh, you're not... Do you have more? Is there more? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wanted to tell you why. I wanted to tell you how I... I wanted to tell you why I became... The Morbius. Okay. Uh... Well, let me go ahead. It was... I was at school one day with him. And now when you say with him, do you mean the, the person who doesn't like invasions? Uh-huh. And it was at lunch that day. At lunch that day they made um, beans and corn with little string. There was just some string in it. And I thought it was really good. And I said, and, and he wasn't eating his. He wasn't eating his string corn with beans in it and I said hey if you're not gonna eat that then um can I have it and him and his friends they all laughed at me they just laughing and I was I really wanted that stringy corn with beans in it and he didn't give it to me and I never forgot so that's why you do it that's why that's why you try and ruin other people's days now let me ask you this I've heard a lot of people say that um, you know you're like a you would murder you would hurt people in real life I've heard people say that you would break into people's houses in real life and you would do real physical uh, violence on people and now is that true yep 100% true I would do it if only I could but I can't because I don't know where they live and also and also when I was born I'm just I'm just a disembodied floating devil head with horns on it you're just a just a disembodied floating horned face like a, like an oni like a Japanese demon yeah and I'm in a and I chose that because it's cultural appropriation. So you chose to be uh, an appropriated de like you could have just been a regular demon, but you chose to be more evil, and and you did it. You did a cultural appropriation to hurt more people. I did it on purpose to be born this way. But one of the drawbacks was that I can't break into your house in real life and, and just punch you 
and use weapons. That that is really that is really scary. That's a really scary way to be alive. To know that at any moment it could happen. That a that a that a cultural appropriating demon could come into your house at any time and just do real physical violence on you. It's no wonder these people feel the way that they do about you, that they don't like you. It's no wonder at all. Because it seems like, you know, you're a pretty bad dude. Mm -hmm. And it's all real. The only, I don't even like this game, can I be honest? I don't like it at all. I've, I've, I've played this game for 800 hours. Simply to spite other people whom I would hurt if it were if it were an option that I had available to me but it's not because I'm a floating disembodied culturally appropriated demon head so I don't have you know arms or legs or anything like that wow and that's coming straight from the horse's mouth folks you heard him you heard him it's real. Everything is real. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to ask that you go ahead and like and subscribe uh, or a culturally appropriated Japanese demon head with no arms or legs will come into your house and eat your stringy bean corn. Something to think about.